Hello everyone, my name is Porsche and welcome back in another video on Just a Tech YouTube channel. So today I've got a, another tool to bypass the latest iOS 12.4.7 on Windows machine. And before starting the video, I would like to tell you about the great product from the Asus.com called Asus Mobi Mover. It's a complete tool for managing your iPhone and the iPad. It's an alternate of iTunes for managing your iDevice completely. It offers many features to manage your iPhone like transferring files from iPhone to PC, transferring files from PC to iPhone, transferring files from iPhone to another iPhone, download video URL, unlock iPhone lock screen and many more. It's a complete package to managing your iPhone from your PC and soon it will add one more feature for WhatsApp chats, record backups and restore option so it will available in the upcoming updates. So it's a useful product if your iPhone or iPad storage is full and you don't want to delete the data to free up the storage so you can use this tool from Asus Mobi Mover that helps you to transfer all your important data from iPhone to the safely to the PC or if you want to move one iPhone data to another iPhone you can do it as well. And you can also transfer your PC data to your iPhone including photos, music, videos, apps and many more. So you can check out this tool. This tool gives you many options to copy different kind of data like your audio files, your personal photos, videos, iMessages, contents, notes and apps. And it has dark mode and light mode theme options so you can choose according to that. But I personally prefer the dark mode that looks more great. So you can check out this option. It will help you to completely manage your iPad or iPhone storage options and the other options and it support both the operating system you can download it for windows and mac os for free you can check out the free version first for the different options and it has a pro version and the technical edition which have different options you can check out the website for more information and ESUS also offer different kind of tools for your smartphone and the system they offer for data recovery for your windows mac os ios or android smartphone so you can check out all this and there are summer sale available on this website so you can go and check out the website for more information so if you are interested in this product called mobi mover from the ASUS, you can check out the video description for the direct link and for the more product check out the ASUS.com. okay in the last days apple just released the latest ios 12.4.7 for all the older devices that are previously running the ios 12.4.4 12.4.5 and 12.4.6 but 12.4.4 is now unsigned so you can't downgrade the iOS to the 12.4.4 so the device is running on iPhone 5s, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 plus, iPad mini 2, iPad Air and iPad 3 and the other devices that are running previously on iOS 12 they all get the latest update 12.4.7 but the sad part is that Apple unsigned the old 12.4.4 iOS version that are perfect for the unthreaded bypass. But now for iOS 12.4.7, there are many issues when you bypass with the old tools like FRP and the other tools. If you bypass that device, you will face some home button issue. Home button will not work after bypass. So in that case, I am showing you the new tool to bypass the iOS 12.4.7 on Windows machine. So now let's come to the topic. I have already given so much information regarding iOS 12.4.7. Now we will see iCloud bypass process and all the tools links in the description on my blog also you can download for free from there. First let me clear that this method only works for iOS 12.4.7 not for other iOS. If you want to see other iOS bypass so you can check out my recent bypass videos for latest iOS bypass 13.5 and the other iOS 12.3 to 13.5 bypass with that unthreaded and the threaded option according to the iOS. So after downloading the tool you have to first extract it so you will need a winrar or a zip extractor to extract it after that just open the folder and you will see the 32 bit version and the 62 bit version both so you can use according to your pc configuration so you will see 32 bit and 64 bit and the python installer are inside so first you have to install the python in your system because there are some dependency you have to install first for the bypass to run perfectly so we will see step by step everything how the bypass works so first very important step is that you have to use the checkrain jailbreak to jailbreak your device it's a obvious method that for the bypass you will need a checkrain jailbreak so if your device is compatible with checkrain jailbreak you can use this method 
So firstly, you have to jailbreak with Checkrin 0.10.2 latest version. I have already made the 2-3 videos on the latest methods for jailbreaking on Windows. You will use Bootrain, Technics method or my own custom method for 0.10.2 for windows so you can use according to that which method you are in comfortable so you can use that method so i'm using my own method and i guess everyone already knows that how to jailbreak with the checkrain i made a proper dedicated video on all the method in detail so if you don't know that first check out that video so that it will be more helpful in jailbreaking with checkrain so i will not take too much time in the checkrain jailbreak part if you don't know how to jailbreak step by step so you can follow my old videos you will get more information so that's why i'm doing the checkrain jailbreak part in the fast forwarding so that it will save your time and my time also so that we can more concentrate on the pipe pass part so first we will do the check range jailbreak So now I am back on my windows machine and I have successfully done the check range jailbreak part. Now we will move further to the bypass process. So for the bypass process I have told this in every video that there are some important dependency like the python which is important to run the bypass tool correctly. So make sure that you have installed that before the bypass process. So for this you have to install python 2.7.15 version that are compatible with both 32 bit and 64 bit machines. You can download it from your official website or it also included in the bypass folder tool so as you can see you have to download the 2.7.15 version if you have already installed the latest python version that is free so don't worry first you have to try with that version if that version gives you some error or anything with the bypass tool so you can use this particular version of the python so i'm just installing so you have to install it and click on next and there are one important settings in the python installation that in the last you will see this cross icon so you have to click on that and you have to install it on your local hard disk so make sure that you will select this option so it will work properly so after selecting this will turn into the hard disk icon and then click on next and it will normally install in your pc so i already suggested you if you have a latest version of python already installed on your system first do the bypass normally if that doesn't work or give you any kind of error like related to python you can go with this version you have to install this version and then you can try the bypass so we have successfully installed the python now the next dependency is the net framework so some pc required the net framework error so you have to install this also this will also help you to bypass successfully and after that you have to install visual c++ these all the important software you have to install in your pc for every bypass tool and the putty also so these are the must tool you have to install from the bypass so make sure that you have already installed so ignore this step you can run directly bypass tool so as you can see i have installed all the dependency now my bypass tool is working perfectly without any error so now i have to connect my device to bypass it so i will close it again and first i will connect my device and then i will do the bypass so now i have just connected my device to the pc and make sure that itunes will close from the background and disable your antivirus and the windows defender and the other firewalls option because sometimes that creates a problem for the bypass to run properly because they are blocking the firewall from the device connection so as you can see my device is connected and it show my id so make sure that it will show if it is not showing that you must doing something wrong so make sure that the id will show after that you will see the press any key in the window so just hit on enter or any key so it will run the bypass tool so after that you will see it will transferring some files and you will see the device is pre-spring and going to the home screen directly 
in some device it will show you to ask you to enter the yes so you will type yes or y on the screen so after that it will just run the command and your device will be get locked automatically after that you will close the terminal and one more important update is that in some devices some users facing activation failed or sim card failed in the previous bypass video so that first they can jailbreak your device and then don't connect to wi-fi directly first scroll down and you will see connect to itunes option then select that and itunes screen will pop up and then select the back from the top left and then use the bypass tool to bypass and after that you will see connect to iphone option in the wi-fi screen select that and your bypass will be done now you have to normally activate your phone as you can see my device is now fully unlocked and now i can use it as a normal device so now as you can see the check in loader icon will load up and after that you have to just install simple cdr so i have already bypassed this device that's why cdr is already in my home screen so now just simply run the cdr and you will enjoy all your tweaks and my app store is also working so let me show you one of the apps to download and one more important point is that this method is the threaded bypass method so if you reboot you will get lock again for that you will need to bypass and jailbreak again but you can do that anytime you want because this bypass is completely free everything will work your home button will work camera and others will work so you can check out this method and this is a threaded method so use safe shutdown for that if you don't know how to install safe shutdown you can watch my previous video i will give link in the description so you can watch that and install safe shutdown so that's all for today if you enjoy this video hit the like button if you are new here subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell icon for more more updates if you face any issue you can comment down below follow me on all my social media handles all links are in description so till then goodbye take care and peace out